It's really happening folks. Even though the Nobel Peace Prize was cheapened by the fact that Al Gore and an empty suit like Barack Hussein Obama each have won, it looks like now the committee is trying to make amends by awarding it to a person who actually deserves it. Yesterday, two Norwegian MPs called for President Trump to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize after his long-awaited summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. This would be the second time President Trump has been nominated. What's happening now is historic, Amundsen told state broadcaster NRK. A process is underway to ensure world peace in the future. It is a fragile process, but we must, of course, do what we can to help this process bring good results. I think that we can do by sending a clear signal, by giving Trump the peace prize. Trending, Julia Roberts finally says how she feels about conservatives seeing her movies, bad idea. Norwegian lawmakers Christian Tibring Jed and Per Willy Amundsen, who are both of the conservative Norwegian Progress Party, wrote a nominating letter calling for President Trump to be given the award by the Norwegian Nobel Committee to support this historic peace process. The nomination letter goes on to compare Trump's actions to those of American President Theodore Roosevelt, whom they note was given the prize in 1906 for his efforts to bring peace between Russia and Japan at the end of the Russian-Japanese War. This comes after 18 Republican lawmakers signed their names to a letter nominating Trump for the prize. The letter correctly stated that the president worked tirelessly to apply maximum pressure to North Korea to end its illicit weapons programs and bring peace to the region. Representatives Christian Tibring, Jed, FRP, and Per William Munson, FRP, believe it qualifies Trump for the Nobel Peace Prize. What's happening now is historical. A process is underway to ensure world peace in the future. It's a fragile process, but we must of course do what we can to help this process bring good results. I think that we can do by sending a clear signal, by giving Trump the peace prize. And amid all the left's dismay at just what was agreed, the two Norwegian parliamentarians, however, do not believe that a peace winning nomination is too early. It's not a binding agreement, but it's an initiative to visit both ways, it's an initiative to end the disaster going on and to put a damper on the military exercises the United States has with South Korea. As such, this is a push to Donald Trump to continue what he has already started, says Tibring Jed. It would not be the first time giving the Peace Prize to anyone involved in a process. It has happened before. Obviously, we will follow the process carefully, but at least you have arrived, I think is worth a Peace Prize, says Amundsen. The Norwegian nomination follows a group of 18 GOP lawmakers led by Rep. Luke Messer of Indiana, who signed a letter formally nominating President Trump for the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize in May. We can think of no one more deserving of the committee's recognition in 2019 than President Trump for his tireless work to bring peace to our world. Mission accomplished. The Nobel Committee received Peace Prize nominations at Donald Trump in both 2016, 2017 and 2018. However, this year the alarm went off and the Nobel Institute linked the police because they thought they had received a fake nomination for Trump. Trump's nomination this year will be for the 2019 Nobel. In this situation, Trump is obviously a man of peace. He tries to get something that others have not gotten, and when he makes it, he deserves fame, says Tibring Jed. 
Amundsen adds that he thinks the summit and the agreement between Trump and Kim go right into Nobel's testament. This goes straight into the core of the Nobel Testament.It's about disarmament and about creating peace. These are the results that count. South Korean President Moon Jae-in has also one of the heads of state calling for Trump to be given the prize. Both the Norwegian and American letters of nomination are for the 2019 prize since the 2018 award period ended in February. According to the Nobel Prize's website, a nomination is considered valid if submitted by persons in certain categories. Those categories include members of national assemblies and national governments of sovereign states as well as current heads of state. There are 330 candidates for the 2018 prize, which will be announced in October. There is no doubt that President Trump is worthy of the prize, but the question remains, will the committee look beyond its left-wing bias and do the right thing? We'll just have to wait and see.